Today I'm going to show you how you can build LWC components anywhere. We'll start with Trailhead Apps and deploy the eBikes repo to Salesforce. If you look over here, I've got eBikes deployed and I'm on the product catalog. I can click on a bike and you'll see the details render on the right. I can also do a quick search to um, find another bike. But today, I'm going to focus on the reseller orders. I've got an order started over here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, drag another bike in. Oh shoot, looks like I grabbed the wrong one. Uh, let me go ahead and fix that, and I'll find out one that I on my order. And here you go. I can uh, fix uh, the number and get a new total. Today I'm going to focus on this delivery times component that I created to help people schedule deliveries. You can see if I go and click on this button that it's actually a lightning button. Usually this precludes me from uh, using it off Salesforce. I've also got a lightning card. These two things kind of tie me into the platform a little bit because they're lightning controls. I'm going to pull up my code here. You can also see I am using a wire adapter that calls an Apex controller. Again, these are things you would think, how would this work off of Salesforce? I need Salesforce to run this component. And I've got my lightning card reference and a bunch of other markup I've done for my custom layout. And then here you can see the lightning button. Okay, well I'm going to tell you that I've used the same code to run on a local website on my machine. Here I've got localhost and I've got my bikes page. I can do a quick search to look for the bike that I've had my eye on. Click on that and zoom in to the product order or, and you can see it's the same component. Look, I'm going to show you. If I right click here, it's the same lightning button and if I scroll up a little, you'll see it's the same lightning card. Like I said, usually you would think this can't work, but this is running in a local host on my machine outside of Salesforce. So we're going to take a peek at the code. So let me go ahead and pull that up. And here you can see I've got a Lightning Data Service Adapter defined uh, a RAML file that defines my deliveries API with the zip code parameter. And I've got an LDS file that maps into that. And what this is going to do is create a wire adapter for me that maps to that same API. I can set the time to live and I also can set the unique key. I get to create my own wire adapter. So I run some code gen and it gives me this. Here you can see that before anything happens, I check to see do I have a record in the cache. If I do, I pull it. If not, I check for partial hits. If not, I pull the difference. Otherwise, I'll go out to the network. Great, so that's how a wire adapter is born. And I'm gonna jump back over here and you're gonna see the code uh, where I'm referencing not Apex because I've commented that out, yet I'm referencing my own wire adapter that I generated from that project you saw with the same data contract. So yes, I did replace this one reference, but it's the same data contract. You can see all four of my components are sitting in the C namespace. If I go back to my uh, other project, you can see I have the same exact four components that I copied and pasted from this project into my localhost project. And I made that one change for the data adapter. You can even see for posterity, I brought over the uh, JS Meta XML. I don't need it, but I just brought it because I literally copied and pasted. it. Now, how did I get the Lightning components in here? Well, we're gonna look at this config. I can reference NPM packages. So I've published my own UI components package on NPM that uses the open source based components. So if you see here, I'm going in, I'm gonna pull open the card uh, code. This is straight from the open source repo for base components. I copied and pasted. I deployed this NPM and was able to reference it and install it in my local project. And that's why a lightning button and a lightning card reference works. So copying and pasting the code, I have all the same references. And you can see here that it behaves the same. I'm clicking on the time and it's changing just like it would on the platform. Let's take one more look over at the Salesforce side. Here you go, same exact code running on and off platform because I was able to create a wire adapter and reference the open source based components. Thank you for your time.